Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to Reloom library in Webflow in 2024. So today we're delving into the Reloom library, which is a powerful tool that enhances your Webflow projects with the dynamic animations and interactions. Whether you're looking to add subtle transitions or eye-catching effects, stick around as I guide you through the steps of using the Reloom library in Webflow in 2024. And let's bring your website to life with captivating animations and let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience first we'll have to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with here in my case i'm actually going to use the brave browser and of course in your case it could be any other browser that you could possibly have once you open that browser basically just go to this url section and type like webflow com and hit the enter button this should take you into the home screen main screen if you're logged in you'll find yourself on the dashboard right away if it's your first time you will find yourself on a page like this so in here make sure to go and click on login to log in into your account if you have an account and if you don't click on get started it's free to create an account for free unless you go and choose a plan of course uh, you can even log in or even create an account using google if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account and if you don't know nothing about like Webflow, you can simply scroll down to read just more information about it. Just have a general idea about it before creating your account. It will be very, very good for you. And if you're interested to see the pricing, here's it. You can pause the video and read this all by your own. This is for yearly and this monthly uh, for e-commerce also. Here's it. And yeah, so once you logged in into your account or you just created your account, you'll find yourself on your dashboard like this with your websites. If you have some, if you don't have any websites, you'll be able to click on add a new site and start choosing from the template to create a new site. As you can see, you have a lot of free template to choose from. You can see even a video that I made in this channel on how to use it, on how to use those templates. So as we said in the beginning of this video, we would like to reloom a library in Webflow. First of all, we'll have to start by accessing the Reloom library within your Webflow projects. If you haven't already installed the library, you can do so by visiting the Webflow Integrations Marketplace and searching for Reloom and install the library to add it to your Webflow projects. As an example, if we go here to this list panel, click on Templates and Libraries. As you can see, if we go to Libraries, I have no libraries. So I can go and click on Browse Webflow Libraries and I'll be able to go as you can see, a lot of libraries are free. So just look for the free uh, Reloom library. So if you want to find this library, and if you don't want to go through all of that, just simply go and hit Control F. A lot of people don't know this. So type here Reloom. And as you can see, you will find it right here. So I'll just go and remove that. I don't need this anymore. Thank you. And yeah, I'll just go and click on it, view details. And as you can see, you can install the library. It's free and start using it right away without any problems so you can see how the library is going in here and yeah we simply want to use it so it's very simple to use it we will be basically have to click first of all we will be able to click on open a demo site to see how it's working and if we like it before even like uh, clicking or using it as you can see you can browse the components of it you'll be able to do everything you'll find the frequently asked questions and here i'll just open those uh, as an example test everything out if it's working correctly and if you want it as you can see just simply go of course you can scroll down and see or read all the information the features they have a like 53 layout fully responsive design great for new users wireframe layout and client first style share as you can see and any information that you want you will find that right there so if you want to use it just click on install library free once you click on install as you can see you will have to give it a name for me, as you can see, I'll just go and click create a site and install library or choose a site from here to install the library on. For me, as an example, why not? Let's just choose this and click on install. As you can see, now it will we'll find here you are part of one workspace, which is this one. Of course, I can leave it or archive it and create a new workspace, do whatever I want. If I go here back to dashboard, as an example, I'm already like using the library now, I guess, once it's installed. If it's not installed, I will not be able. So, of course, if we go here to libraries, you will not find it. Why? Because here you will find just like the purchased one, which is the paid one. If I go here to templates, as you can see, I find no templates, even if I'm using a template here. So let's just go here to this one as an example and see. So let's just open the designer of that website and see if the library is used. 
So it seems like it's not. Okay, let me just go back, click on leave. And let me just even go here and click on archive because I'll need to type that out. Why not? And E5 to CA3 and click on archive the site. This will uh, just remove it so we can go and add a new one. So, of course, I'll have to go through like uh, this libraries and go to Reloom, which will be like somewhere here. Okay, I don't know where is it. So, let's just type Reloom. Okay, here's it. It's in the middle now. And let me just go and remove that. Here, I'll just go and click on a cell for free. Again, of course, the workspace is this one. I'll just click on create a site and install the library. And yeah, now we will be able to use it. I couldn't use this before because I already had like uh, two. I guess that's why I could not be able to use it. And now, as you can see, now I'm using the library. You can go and do all the customization that you want on the design of it so you'll be able to browse through the first fold animation presets that they have and apply those animations customize those animations and create some custom animations animations and testing and optimize those animations of course i'm not like great at design so i'll not be able to do much help about it now of course if you want you can even go and add the relume this relume like a library I don't know it's keep hiding from me so let's find this without the control f now yeah here's it so you can add it to i can add it like an example to this one the side that you already had the have the the template on where is it here's it i'll just go and, as you can see library already installed for this so as an example i'll install it for this also and go back here go to this and click on open design as you can see because this i have some templates on it so i can apply those animations on in here so in here as you can see you can apply those animations that you have from this library and this and make sure to test or preview the animations if it's working on the desktop tablets the landscape and even port 344 everything is working as intended just go and click on publish publish on your uh, domain if you already have a custom domain if you don't just publish it on the domain that they give you for free and yeah you'll be good to go so there you have it you successfully learned how to use reloom uh, library and webflow in 2024 to enhance your projects with dynamic animations and interactions by leveraging the library's collection of presets and customization option you can create engaging and visually stunning websites that captivate your audience so if you have any question or there is a specific topic that you would like me to cover in the next tutorial, just drop it down below in the comment section and I'll try to do it as soon as possible. If you like this video also, make sure to leave a like down below and happy animating and I'll see you in the next video. So goodbye.